Now, they say to make it in the music industry, you have to have staying power. And my next guest has certainly needed it. Rock band My Drug Hell had two of their record labels go bust and they've lost four drummers in true Spinal Tap fashion. But they didn't give up. And finally, they've achieved recognition with their latest single. We'll be meeting one of the band members in just a moment. But first, let's see their latest video. Maybe we could fly. How long can we go on waiting for the fall? So many little hearts, could we break them all? So many times before that we have tried. I guess we never could seem to say goodbye. All right, and singer and guitarist Tim Briffa is here. Tim, welcome to the programme. Um, what, what a story. I mean, you've, you've had it rough, haven't you? Uh, I guess so, yes. And did you as By a band... That, standards, yeah. yeah. Did you ever think to yourself, do you know what, forget it, let's give up? Uh, yeah, many times, actually. <laughs> Funny enough, doing that video, uh, about 15 minutes before the end, we spent about five months of disasters, and uh, 15 minutes before the end of having to be out of the editing suite, the, the system crashed. Nice. We thought we'd lost the whole video. And that moment, I really <laughs> did wonder about giving up forever. You it thought, just, what is the point? Yeah. Um, I've but got to ask you times, yeah. about that video, because it's not really a video, is it? It's a selection of stills. It's done uh, almost on the cheap. Well, yeah, we blagged about 30 grand's worth of free down, downtime to do it. So it looks like it's on the cheap. But if you, um, in reality, it was sort of, there was a lot of work that went into it, because we, we shot some, like, uh, 10,000 stills that we had to edit down and that's to look at 10,000 stills and know which one's got to go next uh, is a nightmare but so it's quite fun in a way. It, it is going to be fun where, where do you think the single's going to go then in terms of UK charts I've no idea um, to be honest I'm not really bothered <laughs> I, I met, the main thing was just to do the thing and just move on I, we've had like I say a lot of a lot of setbacks and um, uh, that was the main the main thing. I just wanted to get the thing done. It was meant to have been out in September. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me just check my watch. <laughs> right, OK. Did you do a, a record about setbacks or oh, tragedy or yeah, problems? Yeah, I could write, I could write that book on that one easily, yeah. So it's been quite strange, but, you know, these things happen. We've done everything on the cheap, which is uh, partly the, the reason. When you're working with a very limited budget, you can't afford to just go somewhere and book it and just go straight in. Your alarm favours all the time. How does it make you feel when you see these uh, boy bands made up with hundreds of thousands of pounds of the cash into superstars overnight? I, I think it's, I've never really had a problem with that because that's always been around in music. Mm. You, know, the, you know, through the 50s onwards, there's always been these kind of people who have manufactured and made it overnight. And I've, I've always accepted that, so it doesn't really bother me. I don't really spend time worrying about it, really, to be honest. It's another thing to me. It's just that's always going to go on, so... All right, Tim Briffer, very good luck with My Drug Hell, the band, and, of course, the song, which is called... Maybe We Could Fly. Maybe We Could Fly. <laughs> 